Hello all, it is Happy Summer and welcome to another video on my channel. This is another part of Let's Play with the Sims 4 Goths, okay? So I went ahead and gave a makeover to Bella. Now, the reason why I did this is just because I wasn't really feeling the outfits that she was in. So this is her new sleepwear. Um, girl, work it, okay? like work it so yeah she is awake um alexander's off to school cassandra's off to school i also changed my lifespans a little bit so cassandra and alexander are actually gonna be aging up in two days which is crazy but i don't really play i don't do a whole lot with um children and teens or toddlers or babies so um i just changed the lifespans for teenagers and children to 10 days each and then five days for toddlers and yeah, so that's that's just what I did. But okay, um, we're gonna have you listen to the teacher. And we're also gonna have Mortimer do that as well. Oh, I'm sorry, Alexander do that as well. And he already is. That's wait, excuse me. There we go. Anyway, and um, Bella for breakfast. I'm not gonna be. Oh, so one thing that we're actually gonna have to have to we're gonna have Mortimer do is Mortimer. Why are you working? Oh, he needs to work on his charisma skill for his career. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do that a little later, but Mortimer has, he wants to have a baby, okay? So, um, we're going to be asking her how she feels about that, and, um, yeah, so I'm not really sure how she's going to feel. She, she, she is, uh, is she family oriented? No, she's not. So, I don't know if she's ready to have more kids. Like, she already has had two, so I feel like she might not be, she might not be down for that, you know? But we're going to have her go repair the sink once she is finished eating some popcorn for breakfast, apparently. And Mortimer is, yeah, just working on this, um, on his charisma skill. Which he definitely, like I said, he needs that for his career in order to advance further in it. And it's important because they have a lot of money, but it's not like an outrageously out amount of money and also it goes very quickly because of their bills look at that that's how much their bills are and we're storing things so yeah it's it's a situation and I don't want them to lose their house because that would not be good so yeah anyway we're gonna have you my dear um excuse me Molly lecture about drinking from the puddle and then we are gonna give Molly some attention by playing with her a little bit and yeah Mortimer goes to his job so soon so I don't think he is gonna have time to um, improve the his charisma skill further which is which is unfortunate oh keep running oh he wants to go feeling confident I do want him to psych himself up hold on psych yourself up and then go ahead and go to work because I want to try to have him become confident whoa okay Alexander I don't even remember clicking that Wow I, I was not paying attention but yeah, here we are playing with little Molly. I cannot wait to show you um, Bella's new um, outfits. Um, I didn't change her formal wear, but I changed literally every other outfit. So yeah, that's kind of crazy. Not like huge drastic improvements, but I mean, it was a it was a solid makeover. And as you can see, I changed her hair. I wanted to give her a hair that was very out there and looked like she spent a lot of time doing it that kind of hair I just felt like that was that was the kind of hair that she would she would want you know so she is going to take a shower and then you will be seeing her new and improved everyday wear which I love it so much more and I actually ended up going back I believe when I have given Bella a makeover before like um for current households and other stuff like that I have given her this dress which you can see partly here and I'm just all for it. Like, I just had to go back to it. I just like it so much. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Let's go have her grab um, a normal breakfast. And then you can see it even more so. so. Yeah, go ahead and grab a normal breakfast. And look at this dress, you guys. Look at this dress. Okay, look at this outfit. Okay, look at that. Look at it. Look at her. Like, what even? That's that's all I have to say. She's literally stunning. Okay? She's beautiful. And I gave her different lashes. And she'd just be looking fine. Okay? She's so pretty. 
um, as I say in every part, she is goals, but yeah. Anyways, um, what we're going to have her do today is she wants to introduce herself, introduce, <laughs> introduce herself, hey, when did they get a bike? I didn't even know that was existing. Two more sims, and here's a sim right here. So let's go say hi to her, please. You can just finish your breakfast. You're, you're, you're not even that hungry anymore, so it's all good. So yeah, go say hi to whoever this is. I don't even know who you are, but hello. Okay, so, oh my goodness, she is a land grab? Wiki land grab. Are you married to Malcolm? Wow, okay. Um, isn't Malcolm a little young for you? I thought Malcolm was a teenager. I am so confused, but yeah, so apparently she's married to Malcolm. So that was our fifth sim, and now we just need to say hi to five more sims. And again, I kind of want her to say, I feel like it's kind of unrealistic for her to just go say hi to a, um, postal lady, a male lady, because I, I see Bella kind of unintentionally, she's not a bad person, but I see her unintentionally vibing rich looking Sims, you know? And yeah, yeah, you have this thing that you have to go do. That's fine. And I feel like Oh, does he look rich, though? If you were to see him walking... No, he does not. Okay, sorry, Paolo, but... Not gonna happen. You don't look like that either. Oh, he does. Oh, he's famous. Oh, attempt introduction, please. How did all these Sims age up so fast? Oh, that's right, you guys. I forgot. I'm playing in a save that's, like, already been advanced in. So, that's why there's a lot of... A lot of the Sims are older than you'd expect. Then normally just starting out with the save oh she just fangirled over him so hard oh wait it says that she introduced herself but it didn't come up okay let's just ask him for a selfie and ask for an autograph and ask for a hug even though I feel like she I feel like maybe she would do this to try to become friends with him and again I kind of want her to work on fame I forgot that I kind of want her to famous I don't know what she would do though that's that's my little situation is I'm not sure what she would do with her fame you know what I mean oh he is writing her an autograph awesome 50 simoleons we can appraise it what does that do I'm not really sure but now let's try attempting an introduction again and see if that works did it work <gasps> it did you guys it did Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to exclaim our adoration. And let's also ask about his interests. And totally just try and let's ask him for a hug. Let's, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Wait, oh he's hugging us though. He just didn't like us asking about his interests. That's interesting. Okay, ask to take a picture of him. Um, can we do anything else? Like, anything funny? Not really. Oh no, he didn't like that either? Dude. Um, implied Dirk is overrated. Yeah, we're kind of mad at him, aren't we? You know what? Let's do it. Implied Dirk is overrated. Like, dude. Like, we're trying to be friends with you, and like, I we don't get why people like you. Bella, this is, Bella is like, I feel like Bella is definitely jealous of his fame. So we're just going to definitely just be rude. I don't like him. I get bad vibes from him. Um, yeah. Sorry. Don't let your kids see you. So Cassandra is over here, and again, she's sad. Um, hold on. Didn't one of these sims... Okay, hold on. I want to see... Um, did you... Do you have any kind of attraction? No, not yet. Okay. But, anyways, so Cassandra, go ahead and... Let's have her. Oh, she got an excellent bunny. Okay, do your homework. Uh, let's put this bunny somewhere. Um, just in her room randomly. I mean, that's a nice spot for it, I suppose. And poor Alexander is literally so tired. So just go in your room and sleep. Like, it's fine. It's fine. So yeah, we just totally got mad at Dirk. And they don't have a good relationship anymore. So, oh, you look kind of... You look a little rich, right? Yeah, he does. Um, his name is Saul. Go say hi. Go say hi to Saul. I feel like 
Saul would be. I mean, just the way he dresses, it's very classy-ish. So yeah, and that's kind of what I tried to go for with Bella too. Like, I wanted her to look more classy than anything else because she is she is happily married, you know, and I don't want her dress in dress in strange. Okay, so I wanted her to look classy and not sassy. Okay, for a second I thought they were flirting, but no, I think she was just flattering him, which was is a friendly interaction in The Sims anyway. Um, let's see what his career is. Right now it's day. Why does she want to do all of these flirty interactions with him? Tell him an unbelievable story. Oh, you're talking to your ex. This is awkward, unpleasant conversation. Take residence key back. We don't want you to have your residence key here anymore, dude. I'm sorry, but no. Like, and then just tell him to leave. Like, you're not welcome here anymore. But he's like, but I like your dad. Me and your dad are buds, okay? Oh my goodness, Julia's here. Oh, go say hi. Um, go and actually go see if you guys can club gaze. Who are you talking to? <gasps> Penny Pizzazz. You guys, they need to be friends. You need to be friends with Penny Pizzazz. Oh my goodness. Yes, you guys need to be friends. Bright and day. Yes, they need to be friends. Let me tell you, they need to be friends. Penny, Penny Richards, I guess is her name now. But they would totally be friends, okay? Just, just gonna put that out there. Can you please take a photo with her? We want to have friends here. Yes, look at them. Okay, I don't know what she's wearing, which is interesting. But they would totally look how cute they are, guys. We love our sins to have friends. Okay, let's see if we can club gaze with her for a little while. Um, ask to cloud gaze. Okay, we're gonna do that, and then yeah, more. Oh no, wounded from feeling hurt by somebody. Nicholas just hurt her again. Oh, deeply wounded. Oh, and then bitter about breakup. Oh wait, that's Nicholas has that sentiment. Nicholas can't quite shake some resentment towards Cassandra about how their romantic relationship ended. Nicholas might find it unpleasant to be around Cassandra. Well, then why do you come to her house, dude? Dude, why do you come here, then? That's irritating. Like, what's your deal? What is your deal? Don't come here. There's so much drama happening. Ugh. To me, this is a lot. I always bit my tongue. To me, this is a lot of drama, anyway. So we have Katie Munch. Oh, she looks like she might be. Ooh, another friend opportunity. Go give her a friendly introduction. See, we're getting, we're getting friends. Anyway, Alexander, how are you doing? He's doing a little better. I think that it'll be time for him to go, oh, Mortimer. Okay, Mortimer is home, and he is he is about to be ready to ask um, Bella a few things. But he is going to, in the meantime, go eat some grilled cheese and watch some TV. Okay, Alexander, sorry, I distracted you. Um, go use the bathroom, and then he's going to eat some grilled cheese as well. Do you think I should get out of the house more? Who's she asking that to? That's what I would like to know. Is who are you asking that question? No, Bella. Oh, was that? Oh, okay. Okay, she's not going to like us either. Argue about something. I don't know, maybe not. I feel like I'm just having Bella be this bad person, but she's, people are being mean to her. I feel like she's one of those people who is like a really nice, polite person. However, if somebody's rude to her and you get on her bad side, like she's like, uh 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 uh. Like that kind of people, that kind of people, that kind of person. <laughs> okay, go and um, insult her. Yeah. Oh, she's mean anyway. Okay, that works. You know what? You don't just you don't just walk in front of our house and have us say hi and then have you be rude to us. Okay? You don't do that. Okay? You don't just do that. And we're also gonna throw a drink at her because that's such a that is such a move. Okay? Abhorrent confrontation. Confrontation. Okay. Oh no, don't get embarrassed. Did it work? Yes, it did. Okay, go and use the bathroom now. I wonder what her fertility is at too. Let's have her take a fertility test because Mortimer is going to ask her if she wants kids. And so just pretend that she's like just checking in general. I don't know. And she doesn't like, she's not thinking of children or anything. But okay, Cassandra, Um, let's have you, yeah, you need to actually make some more food. Let's have her serve up some dinner. Um, 
let's see, what kind of custom food? Let's make a custom, I don't have a lot of custom things, but custom serve. What kind of custom, I don't have any baked things either. I need to get more food, but, okay, um, cook custom meal. There we go. Any of these things, like, super fancy, rum balls, definitely, but, um, no, I don't really have a whole lot of fans. I need to get more, more custom food, but I wasn't sure if I was downloading it correctly, so I didn't want to get a whole lot. Okay, go make some Italian meatballs. That's pretty fancy. Yeah, go make some Italian meatballs. She's She has a 5% fertility chance. Wow. Okay, well, that's definitely something. Um, oh, he wants a woohoo. Okay. But yeah, we're just going to kind of hit the ground. And let's just see what she says. I have no idea what she's going to say. Um, Ask about relationship where ask about ask about ask if Bella wants kids that's what I want to do and I don't know if you would do it in front of Mortimer or I mean ugh, my goodness, Alexander but I don't know I guess I guess Alexander is going to be there anyway so let's see what she says I honestly have no idea I'm open she's open to the idea so try for baby with Bella should we just have them go and try like, why not, right, right, why not, okay, let's just, she's 5% fertility chance, okay, maybe we'll do it in the morning, they'll, they'll try for baby in the morning, but as of now, they're just both gonna go to sleep, because I think she'll have a higher chance in the morning, okay, Alexander, you can go to sleep now, thank you for eating your food, okay, who's calling Bella, I decided to have a movie night today instead of tomorrow, oh, no, we're going to bed, like, nobody introduced, intru oh, I can't speak, Nobody interrupts our beauty sleep. Okay, watch TV. Who's calling you? I really need your help with some homework, Alexander. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, our one friend, Rylan. Oh, but we have two other friends, Isla and Kalani. Kalani? Kalani, probably. Maybe you age up. Oh, he ages up. Oh, fun. See, all of our friends are going to age up, like, kind of by each other. I love that. Okay, go ahead and go to sleep, dude. And then, yeah, Cassandra... Uh, she needs, I'm going to have her clean up a few things as well. I know, because Bella likes to do that. We'll let Bella do cleaning. Bella can do cleaning, and that's fine. Um, use, and then go to sleep yourself, okay? She She's definitely going to be our little cook, but I have lots of ideas for her once she um, ages up, okay? Not really, but I kind of do. I have quite a few ideas for her. Because, I don't know, just, I get a lot of different vibes from her. And I'm kind of curious to see, oh, hey, babe, are you busy? Oh, hmm. um, yeah, we're going to bed, too. I, I don't know, I feel like she's a little nervous. Like, she's, she's, she has two days left in her teenhood, teenhood. So I, I don't think she's, like, having much, oh, she is having a rebellious streak. Oops, yeah, she should have gone. But it's okay, I actually kind of want to get a... Do I have one? Did I put one of those parent, what are those called? I don't think I have one in here, but I want to get one. Okay, first off, we're going to sell this, and we have this wizard thing. What? Why? Why didn't I? I don't know if that's supposed to be up here or not, but I'm just going to. Anyways, um, one of those, uh, they're under, like, wall decorations or something. Parenting board. What are those called? I don't know. A dry erase board? This thing. Family bulletin board. That's what I was looking for. We're going to put this in the house because um, I definitely see them being like a family that would have like different uh, curfews and etc. So we're going to put it in here because it actually fits perfectly right there. And um, I'll set a curfew for them. I feel like the family that they are, I feel like they would have... Wait, how do I set a curfew? Oh, because you're a teen. I can't. Okay. I feel like he would set a pretty early curfew. Okay, maybe not seven. Seven's pretty early, but would he do it? For for Alexander, I feel like he would set it at. Would they be that strict? Or should it be nine? I don't know. I've never really had like a super strict family, but then again, I've never had a family even have a curfew. Let's just do nine. Oh, he has to set it. Oh, okay. Well, we'll wait for when he wakes up, obviously. So yeah, as soon as he wakes up, I will have him set it, and, oh wow, Bella's going to wake up already pretty soon, too. Awesome. Oh, he's he's already awake. Okay. Well, go ahead, then. Yeah, he set it to that time, 
And let's just have him wake up now. I know it's so early. Like, it's he's literally waking up at 3 in the morning. But, you know, sometimes Sims are just going to do what they're going to do, right? <laughs> um, He's going to go eat these scrambled eggs himself. And then, oh, Bella's awake too. Okay. We'll go take a fertility test and see what she is at. Because she said she's open to the idea. So I could have her go and get, like, a fertility. Oh, yeah. I feel like she could get a fertility treatment. Yeah, go get a fertility treatment. Let's see. I feel like she's not really, she doesn't really, she's, whoa, brain. Um, I feel like she's not really ready to have a baby. But, you know, Mortimer wants one and she realizes that. And I feel like she would, you know, at least try and see what happens, you know. And they have money for this fertility treatment. So that's why I'm like, mine as well. Okay, let's go ahead and give Molly some attention. Let's give Molly a treat, um, pets, and then let's go see what her fertility is now. Okay, let's see what it, what it's at. Okay, so yeah, she's 59%. So we're going to go ahead and have them try for a baby. Oh, and it looks like you're awake too. Okay, go take a shower, and then she is going to go and... Uh, should we have her make breakfast? Yeah, let's have her make some breakfast. Let's have her make breakfast scramble. And then, oh, it looks like Alexander is awake too. Awesome, dude. Awesome. I just realized I, I keep getting surprised that they only have one bathroom, and I don't know why that surprised me. Oh, look at he's being such a good kid. Oh, my word. Oh, no, this is broken. Oh, my word. Okay, so... Um, why is her blush, like, doing that? I don't know. Okay, so let's see if she's gonna be pregnant or not. I literally have no idea, and I'm actually quite nervous. Um, okay. Let's, okay, you're gonna go and work on your charisma skill, though. So he's gonna go do that, and then she's gonna go and take a test up here. I literally have no idea what it's, what, what it's gonna be, but we'll find out. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this at a cliffhanger, actually. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I hope you all have a joyful day and opposite towards the bright side. Happy summer is out.